Okay, we're in a grower field uh, where lychee tomato has been planted. Lychee tomato is a trap crop for pale cis nematode. Uh, it's in the potato family, Solanum cisimbriifolium is a scientific name for it. And what happens is lychee tomato uh, sends out a root exudate that stimulates uh, pale cis nematode eggs to hatch. The nematodes come over to the lychee tomato roots and they cannot survive, grow, and multiply in lychee tomato roots. They can in potato roots, however. So that's why we have a problem when we grow potato in a field that has the nematode in there. The nematode uh, can survive and, and multiply. The idea is, we call the trap crop lychee tomato. It cannot survive, so we call that a suicide hatch. So uh, in Idaho, we've been looking at it since uh, 2011. I've actually had test plots in it since 2012 at the Aberdeen Research and Extension Center and then the last two years out in grower fields where we're looking at it um, uh, under grower practices and grower production. Um, Louise Marie Danderin is the nematode, uh, runs the nematode lab, is the head of the pale cyst nematode lab up on campus and so she looks at uh, lychee tomato and other uh, things that they're working with such as uh, mustard meal um, they're also taking a look at quinoa this year. Currently, growers have to fumigate in order to try to get the cyst level uh, below, de you know, below detections or no viable cysts out here. And that's costly and uh, quite labor intensive. And so what we're hoping is that lychee tomato, if you plant it uh, in your rotation, uh, you'll be able to eliminate the cyst or at least get it down to 70%. Or, or higher and then maybe use that in conjunction with some other uh, biocontrol that uh, Louise Marie is researching or in conjunction with some fumigation um, so that you could plant potatoes maybe a few years after you've planted lychee tomato.